In this problem, we have to find the inverse Laplace transform of this function. So the first thing to do here is maybe try to uh, rewrite this in a clever way to make things cancel. So we have s minus 1 over s plus 1 cubed. So it would be really nice if instead of s minus 1, we had s plus 1. So what you do in problems like this as a good first step is you just write that down. You want it to be s plus 1. But you can't just make it s plus 1 because it's a minus 1. So you have to take away 2. That's because 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So here we have s plus 1 cubed. So now we can break it up. And, and typically, I skip this step, and I just go to this one here. So inverse Laplace. And I'll explain it again, but let me explain it two ways. One, it's s plus 1 over s plus 1 cubed. Minus 2 over s plus 1 cubed. So you can go from here to here. How? You want it to be s plus 1, so you just put it there. You put down the s plus 1. We say, okay, it's an s minus 1. So how do you get a plus, how do you get a minus 1? Oh, you subtract 2. See, so I usually just go from here to here. I don't show this intermediate step. So you put the s plus 1 down. You want it to be a minus 1, so you just subtract 2 now. And now you do get some cancellation. So we have the inverse Laplace of 1 over parentheses s plus 1 squared minus 2 over s plus 1 cubed. And so now um, we've gotten rid of um, the s up top, which is good because now we can do uh, shifting. So to do the shifting, we'll break it up into two inverse Laplace transforms. This is the inverse Laplace of 1 over s plus 1 squared minus 2 inverse Laplace 1 over s plus 1 cubed. And the problem is that it's s plus 1. We can deal with it if it's just s to a power. So let's make them both um, s to a power by doing the following. Inverse Laplace of... So we want the bottom one to be s squared. So we'll do a shift from s to s plus 1. And here we want it to be one less factorial to use our formula. So this is one factorial. One factorial is one. The formula, by the way, if you haven't seen this before, is if you have the inverse Laplace of n factorial over s to the n plus 1, that's equal to t to the n. Okay, so, so here, uh, this piece is going to give us t minus 2 inverse Laplace. We'll change this to a 3, s cubed, rather change it to an s, and take s to s plus 1. And then here, there's a 3, so we want it to be one less factorial. See how it's one higher on the bottom? So we'll put a 2 factorial here. But if you put it there, you have to take it away. All right, so this first one here is just going to be t to the 1, so it's just t. And because we did a shift to s plus 1, that's going to give us an e to the negative t. Whenever you do a shift to s, from s to s minus a, you get an e to the at. So here it's a plus 1, so it's a negative t. Minus, this is 2 over 2, because 2 factorial is 2, so it goes away. This is going to give us a t squared. And again, the shift from s to s plus 1 will give us an e to the negative t. Remember, if you go from s to s minus a, it gives you e to the at. It's really s to s minus negative 1. It's really a negative. And that would be the final answer.